you like. <laughs> All right. You may think this is funny, but this is so not funny. I'm not kidding around anymore, Ben. You make yourself appear right this instant. Ben? Ben? Mommy's singing, Ben! Come on now! Ben! Anna? Oh, good. You're already up. You forgot to wash my shirt. I told you a hundred times, today is purple shirt day at school. I didn't forget. Actually, I was up half the night thinking about it. Yeah, right. And I concluded that you are too special to look like everyone else. So, orangey red. That's your color. If you can carry it off. Now, uh, would you help me find your brother? You lost Ben? No. <laughs> I didn't lose Ben. Ben? Ben? All right, Ben, fine. You explain to your teacher why you're late. Your daddy said he had a very important case this morning and he had to go to work early. And he left us here to be responsible that we could... <laughs> Shit. You're so not funny. Not funny, and you're also late. And that means you have to get dressed right now. Stay, no, stay, Ben. Ben, this is not funny. Ben, we've got to get you dressed. Ben, really, we're so late. I don't want to go to school. No. Mommy! <laughs> Mommy! Hi, sweetie. Hmm, <laughs> Ben, you look like you're having such a good time, but we're running a little late. Ben? Oh, sweetie, I thought you were supposed to be wearing purple today. She forgot to wash it. Oh, hey. Ooh. <laughs> what a hug. <laughs> I'll handle it from here, Isabel. Sure you will, Jackie. <laughs> oh my gosh, she made you a lunch? Okay, come on. Why do we have to listen to this classical stuff? Because I like it and I'm driving, and when you get your own car, you can pick the music. Why does Isabel wear Daddy's underpants? Doesn't she have underpants of her own? Ah, uh, well, I saw a whopping pile of laundry sitting on the washing machine. Perhaps Isabel's underpants are in there. Yeah, right next to my purple shirt. I'm never speaking to her again. Never say never, here's your vitamins. She's always messing up my life. It's not fair to say always. I hate her. She's such a witch. Hey, no name calling. Use your words. I hate when you say that. Now, that's a beginning. Hate is a totally acceptable word. You just have to be careful when you use it, and only use it when you truly detest something. Like what? Well, like the planet Uranus. I hate that. It's a terrible name for a planet. <laughs> Uranus! Yeah. <laughs> and the hokey pokey. The hokey pokey? The hokey pokey. I hate the hokey pokey. Putting your foot in and out at weddings is terrible. <laughs> Oh, Ben! Oh, I hate when you do that. I can smell your breakfast. Oh. Point well taken. Right, let's just calm down. Ladies, let's just calm down. She'll be here. She will be here. Isabel, where are you? Come on. Anywhere? Yeah, she's on her way. She's on her way. I promise. She's on her way. Yes. I, How do you know? I, I have, I have success. Voila. I'm sorry. Like, what the crisis? There's a white pants, black top, and then if it's the black top, it's the white bra, the black bra, and then I just pick this. And... Alrighty. Lame. You got a fruit loop in your hair. Get me the digital camera right now. Russell, get this out of here, please. Yeah. Quick. Come on, boys. Isabel, we have been waiting for an hour. I know, I'm sorry, it won't happen again. Why are you shooting this? Because I'm brilliant, and I see something you don't. 
So stand back and trust me, why don't you? Oh, I trust you. I, I just don't understand why you're shooting the craft service guy when I've got five male models in very expensive suits sitting over here. Thank you, ladies. That's lovely. It's a wrap, everybody. No, no, no. It's not a wrap. It's a wrap. She's kidding. You're kidding, aren't you, Isabel? I'm not kidding, actually. And if you meet me back here in an hour, I will prove to you why you hired me, even though I wouldn't sleep with you. <laughs> Such a great sense of humor. Let's see if I can save both our jobs. <laughs> Congratulations, Duncan. Look at it. I mean, you can't. It's a computer thing. That's what the suit takes off. While change is exhilarating for an adult, it can be quite a challenge for a child. I won't get that. That's fine. <laughs> change. Mm -hmm. You were talking about change. Well, the fact that you two are remarrying obviously has Anna overjoyed, and she's very excited about the move to Switzerland. She said we are remarrying? Mm-hmm. And my concern is that Anna seems apathetic towards her work, knowing she's leaving uh, before the semester. M Mrs. Franklin, we are not... No plans on getting... Remarried. There's no move. To Switzerland. Uh, mm -hmm. No. Really? Really. Well, then my concern for Anna is that she... Are you here? I'm here. Because you don't seem like you're really here. I'm here. The judge is about to rule on a motion that could make or break this case I've been working on for eight months, but have I answered my beeper? So turn it off. I'm wondering if there's anything going on at home that could possibly be intensifying Anna's need to create this fantasy. I've been seeing another woman well, for the past three year. short years since I divorced, he's seen a number of women. And I saw a few women when we first split up, but I've been seeing anyway, one now, woman for the past year. And after a lot of thought and careful discussion with her, the and kids, the kids, I might add, she moved in last month. He's living with a woman half his age. Isabel's not half my age. We're not discussing your age. Then why We're bring it the up? Children. When they go to your house, they want to be with you. They don't want to be with their father. When they come to my house, they want to be a part of my life. Isabel's part of my life. Mr. Harrison, I hear you talking about your life, your needs, but... Are you really in touch with what Anna needs? Anna needs a home where she feels safe and loved. What I'm trying to give her. I thought that's what you already had. I would walk through fire for Anna. Gladly. Any day of the week. Except Thursday, when Isabel forgot to pick them up. Jackie, she was five minutes late, for Christ's sakes. Well, she was five minutes late. I'm wondering if Anna could be responding to the underlying hostility that exists between your girlfriend and Mrs. Harrison. Well, of course she's responding to it. Mrs. Franklin, do you think any of this is easy for us? Do you think it's easy for Jackie to watch her kids being looked after by another woman? Not to mention a, a woman who really has no experience being a mother. Of course Jackie's going to be irrational, hostile, defensive. Thank you, Luke. 